Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to add space on Google Sheets. Adding space in Google Sheets can mean several things depending on what you're trying to achieve. So there are several ways they can get that done. And here are the ways they can do that to add space in your Google Sheets, whether it's adding blank rows or columns, adjusting cell padding, or inserting white space within cells. So this is the best method that you can take, and that is adding blank rows or columns. So select the row number where you want to insert a new, or where you want to insert a, a new blank row. Select a row number, and let's say that's, I, I just want to go ahead and delete all of these things so that I can have an empty sheet for this purpose. And I'm going to exit this data validation rules that is here. To select the row number, let's say the row number is one, all right, we want to insert a new blank row, then right click on the row number. So this is row number one, right click on the row number and choose insert one row above or insert one row below. So this is going to be insert one row above. All right, so you can also select multiple rows or right, right click and choose to insert multiple rows depending on whatever you want so select the column letter that you want to insert a new blank column so this is for rows all right so it's a click on that and right click that's pretty much supposed to be available uh, and think that so that's insert one row above insert one row below okay so that's that's it so if you want to um, insert a blank column so go ahead and select the letter where you want to insert a blank column so that could be this letter that is here so i'm just gonna have to select the letter that's letter a and then right click on the column letter and once you right click on the column letter go ahead and choose insert one column left or insert one column right so let's say insert one column so that's 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 pretty much it so you can insert multiple columns at once by selecting several columns and right clicking now the next method to do that if you don't want to go with this other method that was just shown the next method which is the second step is to adjust row height and column width for spacing so for you to adjust the row height go ahead and select the row that you want to adjust by clicking on its number on the left so let's say i'm clicking on three then right click so once you right click so right click and choose resize row from this option and once you do that enter a new number to set the row height a large number adds more vertical space between rows so these could be um my row heights could be 40 if i want to do that then once you do that just go ahead and click ok So as you can see, that has already added um, a lot of, of vertical spaces. So that's pretty much it. A lot of vertical spaces between the world. So the next thing to do is to adjust the column width. And how do you do that? Select the column you want to adjust by clicking on the letter at the top. Then right click and choose resize column and go ahead and resize the column. So enter a new number to set the column width. A large number adds more horizontal space between the columns. So it if it is 300 i can just go ahead and click on ok and that's it so i'm just going to really undo because i've actually done a lot to this shit all right okay so the last step i'm going to show you is how to insert blank cells within a row or a column so if you need to add space by moving data within a row or a column you can insert blank cells and how do you do that so go ahead and select the range of cells where you want to add a space so that could be one and i just want to take it down to these range of cells and 
once you're done right click and once you right click right and click on insert cells so you'll be given the option to shift existing cells right or down to create a blank space so i can say insert cells and shift down and that is pretty much it so just go ahead and click on insert cells we can do insert cells and shift right and that should start working for you so you can go about the tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and of course once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this video marvelously helped your search